G'day guys, welcome back. Well today I'm with the SMRC iCat 1 Pro. This is going to be my maiden flight test. I haven't flown it before. Uh, I tried to fly this earlier this morning but uh, went to about four different fields and they were just absolutely, every one of them were, was occupied. So I spent about a good half an hour or so driving around for nothing. Uh, but it's a bit later in the afternoon. It is going to rain later tonight. Um, this morning it was really sunny and calm, but uh, the winds are coming in now. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Now this uh, particular drone does not have um, a stabilized gimbal or anything. So there is gonna be some movement, which is expected from these type of cameras. So hopefully the wind doesn't pick up too much. It's supposed to be about 29 kilometers an hour forecast for this time of day, but uh, I'll give it a go. Let's uh, set it up, take from my maiden flight test, and uh, see how it goes in this wind. Okay, so also labelled, by the way, the um, transmitter as well, uh, just to uh, be able to know what the functions there are. And uh, yeah, the wind's really picking up right now, so. We'll have to see how we go with this. I believe that's bound. So what we've got to do is we've got to go into my Wi-Fi settings. Wi-Fi network. UAV Go 5G. Pick that one. Okay. We'll go into the UAV Go app. Now before that, I'm going to do a screen recording. Microphone's on. All right, that's good. Okay, tap out of that. All right, so here is the uh, the UAV Go app. Okay, so you got a book, which would be a flight time. Oh no, this is going to be the instruction, a digital version, and uh, settings. Got a few settings here. Looks like there's an update for the app. Anti-shaking, it's off. I'll put it on, uh, try to put it on on, which is no i7 phone, iPhone 7 or above. So this is an iPhone 6S, guys. So unfortunately I can't put the stabilization on. Fixed photos, I'll put that on, whatever that means. So unfortunately, if I had an iPhone 7, I'd be able to use the electronic image stabilization which it does have in app now compass calibration it's telling us to do that so what I've got to do with that one is okay do the compass calibration now there's the blue lights on the front flashing we'll spin it it beeped and then we've got the green have it face up I think it's meant to be Okay, all lights. So that's the calibration complete, guys. Okay. So let's go for the maiden flight test. Okay, so we can lower and adjust the camera with this one up the top. All right. So let's do an auto takeoff. Okay, won't do it. So I've got a two sticks down and in, I believe. Yep. It's very quiet. And just took off by itself there, guys. Okay. So it does go up a fair bit by itself. We've got enough satellites here. Not too sure. Looking for satellites on the app here. And it's not really showing much. Let's take it for a bit of a flight around. And what I'll do, I'll start the camera, which is a long press, and it's recording. Now this is Wi-Fi only, guys. So 
so it seems pretty stable even though there's a bit of wind it seems to be going up in altitude I'm not given a, a, a command to do so I don't know what's going on there that's rather <laughs> rather odd the image quality looks rather good though is this uh this wind picking up and there's lights flashing on the back this uh that's in uh, optical flow mode flicked it back in the gps I don't know why it's raising up though guys, that is really odd. I'm bringing it down now. So I don't know if that's the uh, barometer getting affected with this wind, I'm not too sure, but look at this. It's very so slightly going up by itself. Hmm. Alright. So let me uh, I'll bring up that gimbal. go for a bit of a flight down that way bit of a distance I'm gonna bring that down a bit so I'm at about 70 meters away let's try this Return it says it's coming home, so it's about 83 meters away there. It's raising up, and it's coming back home, and it's coming in the direction of where I am, so that's good that it turns around. So, this is my very first try at this drone, guys the iCat 1 Pro stabilizing itself there and it is coming down slowly we'll see if it will reach the uh, landing pad here we'll just get the backpack out of the way just in case it wants to land on that and it's yeah I can see it's a fair bit off the mark fair bit off the mark here as you can see the landing pads down there As you can see, it is getting pushed around with the wind a fair bit. It's only a 20, 235 gram drone, so you don't need any FAA registration if you're in the US. It's actually lighter than the uh, Mavic Mini. So, uh, all right, let's uh, finish that recording. So I've got a bit on file. Would you like to access your photos? I always say okay, because I want to access them later to put them in the video. Now, it is a bit overcast, unfortunately, now. Uh, much sunnier this morning, but I like I said, I couldn't uh, get it out. So we're in GPS mode, and she likes to take off by itself, so... <laughs> as soon as you unlock those motors, be prepared to... Uh, get out of its way a bit. Now it looks like... Because it goes up by itself a little bit, it looks like it's that's the preset height. Now, I think that is a preset height there. It's not actually going. Oh yeah, it is going a bit higher. That's yeah, that's a bit odd. Okay, let's uh, get into some of these functions. Um, I'll just leave my backpack there. I want to show some of these functions. See if they actually work. Let's try a follow me. Which I believe is this one. Okay. Take some more recording. Looks like it's recording. Now this is dependent on your Wi-Fi guys. So there's no SD card. Optical positioning, okay. I can't do any gesture. What's that one? Try with the phone follow. Phone follow. Tips, they're in Chinese. 
Is it uh, going to do it? Doesn't look like it's working. All right, bring that down a bit. Try that again. Bring it in a bit closer. Seems pretty stable, but I don't get this whole elevating on its own. It's holding its own in the wind. Let's just see if this GPS is... It's getting angry. Just wanted to see if that GPS is locked on properly or something. All right, let's try again. Uh, follow me. The phone. Okay, now it's activated something on screen. Okay, now it's working. See the orange uh, icon on screen? See if it follows me now. How are you? Just doing a review. <laughs> so it is following me on screen here. I'm a little bit out of the uh, shot. Will she go back? It is jittering a bit. You can see it. It's a you know a bit of a jitter, a bit of a jigger, jitter bug. Bring that camera up a bit. There we go. It's doing the sideways roll though. And it is trying to keep up with me, even in this wind. You'll probably hear the wind in my microphone, guys. It's not ideal conditions for flying any drone, let alone a under 250 gram one, but it's doing actually quite well. Now, it's beeping. Cancel following. Let's try a quick orbit. Now the battery I noticed is not showing the volts for me. See that? At the top right hand corner of the screen near the star. So hopefully that's not the battery indicator. Let's try circle. Okay, sending. Now it's doing a circle mode. Some sort. Oh low battery. So is she going home already? Yeah, she's going home, guys. So as they state, I think they stated about 20 minute flight time or something. You're not gonna get that out of a 1200 milliamp hour, guys. You know. So unfortunately, yeah, the battery now, the battery indicator is showing me that it is uh, getting very low there with flashing red. Can I get out of that? Where is she going? Okay. So we'll bring it down. Might be going into optical flow mode there or something. So that's the uh, flight time we're going to get out of this one. Pretty short. Pretty short flight time there, guys. Uh, I'll put that up on the screen so you can see uh, what sort of flight time we got. But uh, yeah, I don't know, guys. It's. Uh, Seems to be a bit hit and miss this one. I didn't even get a chance to um, take some photos, which I should actually do now if I take one more photo. Okay, well, as you can see, it's uh, zero volts there. Um, yeah, guys, I don't know what the, uh, let me just turn this off. Alright guys, well yeah, I mean, it surprised me a fair bit that 
once you um, actually take off, it actually wants to go up all the time. Uh, so there's some sort of issue there for sure. Um, I didn't really like that at all, guys. Uh, <laughs> never experienced a drone that would actually want to just slowly uh, creep up uh, unless you, you know, you have to bring it down. And I couldn't let it go of the stick. I just wanted to keep going upwards. So that was rather odd behavior. I don't know if anyone else has had that uh, issue, but uh, I noticed that with this particular one. And uh, I mean, the camera quality looked okay. I was only managed, managed to do the uh, follow me. Unfortunately, I went into that orbit mode and it did do a spinning move and then decided to come home. So definitely not enough uh, battery life in this one. It's only got a uh, 1200 milliamp uh, 2S in it, I believe. So let's just take that out. I don't know, I can't remember what they state. Oop, can't remember what they state on the uh, listing. Yeah, it's a 7.6 volt, 1200 milliamp hour. So I think I only got probably about 10 minutes worth of flight out of this. So I'd have to time the flight of this video and then put it up on the screen for you, but it wasn't that long. Uh, on a plus side, it did look like okay footage from the camera. I'm going to have to check that at home. But on the phone, it looked pretty decent. It looked fairly smooth on my uh, Wi-Fi feed here on the iPhone. Um, we'll see, soon see how that uh, comes out uh, when I actually um, put post-production for this video. But yeah, guys, uh, it held okay in the wind, surprisingly. Um, you know, it was, it was quite windy during this flight and the winds did pick up somewhat. So uh, even though it's pretty light, it, it did hold the wind. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know guys, I can't really recommend this one. Mainly for the fact that I don't like how it raised up on its own. Um, and the flight time's pretty, pretty short. But it's got a 1200 milliamp hour battery. Uh, so you can't really expect too much. So whatever they've stated on the... Uh, on the listing is totally false. I can't remember if it's 20 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever they said on there. I'd have to look. I can't honestly can't remember. Um, it definitely got well short of that. So this one is $93 at the moment. Uh, it might be okay to take photos with it, possibly a bit of video, but yeah, I'm not too sure about this whole raising up, whether it's my one that's doing that or, uh, all of them. I'll have to uh, look at some other reviews on YouTube, I guess, and see if anyone had that issue where it just uh, raised up and just slowly wanted to creep up. I've never experienced that with a drone. So anyway, guys, that is my very first maiden flight test. Uh, pity I couldn't go through more of the features like the gesture, photos and videos, um, and also the waypoints or the uh, orbit. I got to try to do the orbit but then it wanted to come home so yeah that was about it that's all I could do today the range to be fair to it the range that I took it out to I think I took it out to 80 meters or something I still did have Wi-Fi PV I might try to do a range test on this down at the other field that I went to today but I couldn't fly so I might do a range test on this later on to see if it can get the 500 meters that they claim and just to test it again and see if it uh raises up again or not anyway guys thanks for tuning in hope you enjoyed this uh quick maiden flight review of the smrc icat pro one and uh, i'll catch you next time if you're new to the channel as always feel free to subscribe it doesn't cost you anything and post your comments below do you own this uh particular drone all right guys catch you next time and happy flying bye for now